Everybody knows of Tyrannosaurus Rex, the infamous tyrant lizard king that ruled over North America during the final stages of the Age of Dinosaurs. But T-Rex lived at a time in Earth's history when the continent of North America had been split by a seaway running down the middle, and the king in fact only occupied the western landmass, a place known as Laramidia. But what was to the east? This other North American continent, called Appalachia, is not nearly as well known as Laramidia, with the geology of the ancient continent meaning that large dinosaur fossils are not as common here. But we do know that there was actually another large tyrannosaur inhabiting this region before Tyrannosaurus itself had evolved in the west, Appalachiosaurus montgomeriensis. This theropod dinosaur was a pretty big creature, with the only relatively complete specimen so far known to science, that of a juvenile individual, already approaching a total body length of about 7 meters. The Tyrannosaur is known from relatively well-preserved remains, actually being the most complete theropod known so far from the East US, however these fossils are still far from being the most complete specimens ever. The material currently assigned to this dinosaur consists of fragments of the skull, lower jaw, a few vertebrae, bits of the pelvic girdle and the back legs. Still, these remains have enabled paleontologists to tell a good deal about what this predatory dinosaur would have looked like. Appalachiosaurus had a relatively long and narrow skull compared to later members of its group, and from the fossil evidence available, we can see that this species possessed a row of six low bumps on the top of its skull. Similar sort of skull midline ornamentation can be seen in relatives of this species, such as Daspletosaurus and Allioramus. The forelimbs of Appalachiosaurus have been a contested subject too, as earlier reconstructions of this dinosaur, especially museum mounts which used casts to fill in the missing bones, showed the Tyrannosaurus having very long arms with three digits on the ends. But in more recent years, others have argued that it's much more likely for Appalachiosaurus to have possessed shorter arms with only two digits, similar in appearance to the often mocked arms of the more derived T-Rex. The first fossils of Appalachiosaurus were actually discovered in the early 80s, however it took until 2005 for the animal to receive a name. In Montgomery County in southeastern Alabama, the fossilized remains of a theropod dinosaur were uncovered at the edge of a road cut sometime during 1982. This locality was soon turned into a quarry where workers from universities and museums came to extract fossils, and in 1988 it was labelled as the Turnip Seed Dinosaur Site. Later, in 1989, the theropod specimen found at this site was reported by a local newspaper to have been referred to Albertosaurus by paleontologists which led to several mentions of the specimen by scientific publications in the late 80s and 90s, in which certain bones from the supposed Albertosaurus were compared to other finds. But the remarkable specimen was not properly described until 2005, when other paleontologists realised it was complete and different enough to be classified not as Albertosaurus, but instead as a brand new species to science, Appalachiosaurus. But where exactly is this animal placed within the great Tyrannosaur superfamily? Well, of course, originally, before it had received an official scientific name, this dinosaur was classified along with Albertosaurus inside the Tyrannosaurid group called Albertosaurinae, which also includes Gorgosaurus. However, in the description which named Appalachiosaurus, the animal was found to be placed outside of the Tyrannosaurid family, instead being classified as a basal member of the more inclusive Tyrannosauroid superfamily. The issue with this placement, though, is that various other Tyrannosaur species had been excluded from the analysis, but in a later publication which included some new discoveries, Appalachiosaurus was still found to be a Tyrannosauroid, and not a member of Tyrannosauridae. And yes, family and superfamily names can get pretty confusing sometimes, but they are different things. More Tyrannosaur classification developments occurred late in 2018, when a new study performed a massive analysis incorporating certain species from the southern hemisphere that had not been included before. This paper found that two new subgroups should be recognised, the larger, more inclusive Pan-Tyrannosauria, and within that the more derived Eutyrannosauria. So we can now more specifically say that Appalachiosaurus is a basal member of Eutyrannosauria, closely related to Dryptosaurus and Bistahia versa. Appalachiosaurus would clearly have been a fearsome predator at the time it lived, potentially preying on the hadrosaurs it shared its habitat with, and despite only a single fairly complete skeleton being known so far, as well as its relative obscurity compared to stars such as T-Rex, this was certainly an awesome creature that I think should be more well known. Of course, there are many dinosaurs that should be more well known, especially the other fascinating species discovered in the eastern US, and perhaps more interest in this mysterious time and place in Earth's history could help to reveal more about just what was happening in this lost world. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. 
If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.